This is why we live in Central Texas. So we don't have to deal with it. It is 52 degrees! <gasps> Yay, and the sun's actually out. Um, I feel like we've been holed up in a cave for the last three days. We're alive. And thank you guys, as always, thank you guys for the awesome recommendations and support that you offered on the last couple videos. So what did we do? Basically put a bunch of stuff around the sides uh, to keep wind from blowing underneath it, which prevents some icing. We also have tank heaters on the gray, the black, and I think the fresh, but we didn't have anything in the fresh. We also emptied both of the gray and the black, but we have been using those as well. A little bit. Uh, we're heading home now to see maybe if things are thawing out, what what could have happened. But uh, I talked to a, f a few guys when I was out getting fireworks. Uh, they all live in trailers and they said they just basically they left a heater on inside and they didn't have any tank heaters or anything like that. And they said they were good to that point. So they weren't too worried. And they also said that a lot of the lines that are exposed, like if they are even kind of exposed, are this certain type of plastic that expands. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe that's just what they hope for. <laughs> so, um, as far as we know, everything is okay. The one thing that has saved our booties, literally, is that new air heater. And I kid you not, guys. We got sent that heater and I was like, yeah, we'll try it out. It'll be nice and convenient and keep things a little bit warmer. But that has been our only heat source since we ran out of propane and have not gone to get more. Um, and it has kept the trailer pretty dang warm. I We've slept really well at night. Once you let it go, it takes a good amount of time to heat up the whole space. But we set it on eco, so it automatically switches to high and low depending on the temperature inside. And that thing has been amazing so i want to thank the people over at new air that sent us that heater um i did not know that we would need it this badly you know we were hoping to review it and the review is that it saved our lives <laughs> we would be little popsicles without it <laughs> i don't think it saved our lives but it definitely helped save us a lot of money potentially like it, we wouldn't have had a heat source for the like the cab and so well, we would have gone to extreme measures to get more propane. Right. Um, it's the, the one of the reasons why we didn't feel rushed because it keeps everything so warm. I think it keeps our trailer more warm than the propane heater itself. But the only difference is that the propane heats, the heat comes out lower. So I feel like that might be better in terms of keeping like the pipes and everything down there warmer. Um, but like I said, once it gets circulating, it's good. So that thing is amazing. Uh, it is a bit pricey. So we have a link below and they did offer us, since they sent it to us, um, they offered us a link that you guys can use for a discount. So all of that's in the information below if you are interested in it. But I definitely, if you have the extra funds for it, it's worth it. It definitely is worth it. So we're going right now to get, did you already say we're going to get propane? I did not. We're going to get, along with assessing the possible damage, we're going to get our propane tanks and we're gonna go refill them assuming the place is open finally and that's what we're up to everything's good though this weather makes me want to just sleep um it gets dark at like 4 30 in the evening afternoon it's not even the evening um and then it's cold in the morning and i just want to lay there like a potato so hopefully like we a like a potato hopefully we get some more warmer texas winter very soon don't realize what you have until it's gone. It's like a song. Uh, yep. Come on, boys. Hey, come in. Come in. Come on, Brady, Brady, Brady. This way, this way. There we go. Go, go, go. <laughs> He's definitely feeling better. Over here, boys. I know, come on. Get out. Water hey, there's some water in there. Yeah. This is nice ice water. All right, moment of truth. Well, no, it's like a 
If that's still icy, this is gonna be right. There's still water there. What are you trying to figure out by just poking it? Huh, there's a little pressure valve. Oh. What's it feel like in here? Oh, it's warm! Oh my gosh. See? Huh? 68 degrees in here. Thanks, little guy. <laughs> Thank you. What are you doing? Go! Hi, buds! I'm gonna keep walking. Got our little lights. He's so cute. So I've got my light source up there. Um, this camera is terrible. It is supposed to be warmer than freezing for how many nights? Do you know? As far as I can see. As far as we can see. So it's supposed to be better than freezing. Um, so Matt is going to. He's taking off all of the siding, like we were trying to keep the wind from getting from underneath the trailer, per a bunch of you guys' requests or advice, which is really good advice. Um, we're also gonna hook up the water and see if that's running again. So I think we are done with the worst of this freeze. Hopefully. All right, all this all works and I'll probably come to the- Bring. Bring. Brady, 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 come in. What are we doing? What are we're, we doing? We're hooking back up. So I need to run over there, all the way over there in the darkness where you can't see it all. And then uh, hook the water back up and then just to see if there's water running through here, make sure there's no issues. I'm gonna turn it off. We're gonna hook it back up to there, right here. And then uh, turn back on and hope for the best. All right. Make sure everything fills up. Make sure there's no leaks down here. Bump my fist. Bump my fist. <laughs> right. Get day. it, babe. All right. So summary of the uh, the freeze 2018. Well, it lasted about a year. That was like uh, what four <laughs> days or something. It felt like a year. It felt forever. Uh, but we were just stuck inside the uh, little heater, uh, the little space heater that we, we have. We should name it. I'm not gonna name everything we own. Well, little Jimmy. Oh, oh, there's a little possum. <gasps> oh! A crossing possum. Aww. Okay. Hopefully you guys saw that. I couldn't see the screen. But yeah, we've been out of propane, but uh, we got propane yes, two days ago. Uh -huh. Haven't used it yet. Uh, I have a small leak on the uh, left left side of it. Like you know, like we've got two propane tanks where it actually joins up. There's a small leak. I mean, it just. All I need to do is just tighten it a little bit. So I unhooked it again on that left side. Oh, okay. You didn't leave it leaking. No. I unhooked <laughs> it on that left side, and then the right side uh, is still intact, so it should still be fine. But again, we haven't used it. We haven't had a reason to use it because that space heater is good. Oh my gosh, yes. yes. But uh, I'll probably try to cook something on the stove tonight or tomorrow. Or Pancakes tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Pancakes. So yeah, just testing everything out again. We hooked the water back up. We had the water unhooked uh, from both ends, from the house into the uh, trailer. And then we had, uh, I guess we didn't leave anything open, but we probably should have left something open to relieve pressure. I, I kind of checked it every once in a while, but it was fine. We had uh, we have heaters, tank heaters. And so we left those on. 
uh, but everything seemed fine. Nothing was cracked, nothing was leaking except for where the hose joins the trailer. So, but I was gonna leave it uh, dripping tonight or last night anyways. And so it's still dripping right now just because we're always in a hurry. That's just our lives. And uh, so tonight or tomorrow morning, I should have time to uh, put some, uh, what do you call it, seal tape around like where we have our little L-shaped like hose saver, the or whatever it's called, hose the thingy. little elbow hose thing. And so that should, uh, I think it's, it's leaking through the threads. And so if I put tape around the threads and then tighten it, it should be fine. I don't see any leak happening after that. So that was the only issue. So as far as this whole situation goes, I think it went pretty well. It went as well as I expected it, which is like, we survived. I expected um, You did? <laughs> yeah, that's we, cool. That's just usually us. Like, we always find, like, we did make the mistakes so you don't have to. Yeah. Anything, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, this definitely was another learning process. It's just... Every time we think we're comfortable, something happens and we're like, hey, this is an opportunity to learn again. So that's what we did. Um, I'm just over the cold. It's 43 right now, which is quite warm compared to what it has been. Apologize for all the bumps, but this is this is the best time that we can film right now <laughs> before he goes to work. Um, but what was I saying? <laughs> Learning, I don't know. Yeah, learning experience. I'm tired of the cold. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm ready for our Texas winter to be back, which is a few days of cold and a few days of warm. And it's a nice balance. No, it's so, usually cold and warm in the same day. That's true. It's It yeah. starts out cold. It starts out like this. And then it warms up to about 70 or 80. So it's you have the heat on in the morning and the AC on in the afternoon. Which I like because you get both seasons in one day. Yeah. And once you get tired of the cold, then the heat comes back. So we'll see, um, but that's the update for today. Hopefully everybody else out there is uh, doing well. I know that there's a lot of extreme cold. Even Florida got snow. Yeah, crazy. So hopefully you guys are all doing okay. Feel free to check in in the comments. Like I said, we, I read them all. Um, I read a lot out to Matt and I just have not had time to respond. I've been trying to respond here and there, but I haven't had time to respond lately but i read them all love you guys that's gonna be it uh suggestions for our next video what do you guys want to see yeah leave them below have fun out there <laughs> bye